Hi, this is Rob Lowe, the author and narrator of the audiobook Love Life. After I finished writing my first book, Stories I Only Tell My Friends, I had such an emotional and creative letdown that I immediately wanted to start writing again. And gradually the idea for Love Life came into focus for me. And it's sort of picking up where my first book left off, but hopefully in a much different way. One of the things that inspired me to write Love Life was, as I was writing my first book, frankly, there were a number of stories that I didn't have the guts to put into it. And then people accepted that book and liked it enough that it gave me the kind of confidence as a storyteller and an author to really maybe try and put some things that maybe were a little more provocative into this book that I frankly didn't want to do in my first book because I thought it would pull the focus away from the other things I was trying to achieve as a writer. People ask me, did you write your first book yourself? (laughs) And look, it's fine that some people have collaborators and things like that. I am too much of a control freak, and I just can't imagine ever turning over something as personal as my stories and worldviews to anybody other than me. And so the same goes for doing the audiobook. I can't imagine letting anyone else read my writing. And I also have really seen how much people love hearing from the authors. I know I do. I always want the author to read me the work because you learn so much more about them hearing them do it. You are experiencing the work the way the author intended it when they're reading it to you. When people ask me how I decide what roles I do, it's funny because it really is one of the themes of this new book, Love Life. It's about putting yourself out there. It's about pushing yourself and trying to take risks and throwing caution to the wind and all of those things. So when I do that, I end up playing somebody like my crazy doctor in Behind the Candelabra or JFK in Killing Kennedy or Chris Traeger in Parks and Recreation. You know, they're all very different characters, and there's really no rhyme or reason between them other than they all were really challenging for me and so disparate. Both of my sons will be at college this time next year, so I'm really spending a lot of time thinking about that passage of time and what that chapter was like for us as a family and what the next chapters will be, and that theme is throughout this book. I think in many ways, Stories I Only Tell My Friends, the first book was sort of a love letter to young dreamers and actors with a dream, and then maybe a little bit to all the good that can come of somebody who finds the love of the right woman. But this book, Love Life, is very much about my relationships with my sons and what they've meant to me and and that great, wonderful thing that all parents share, no matter what their jobs are, no matter where they come from. We have that common bond and that shorthand that bonds us together. And yet all of our experiences are also completely unique at the same time. So that wonderful dichotomy, I think, is magical. I hope that readers and listeners enjoy Love Life for what I intended it to be. And it is me getting to be a storyteller without any help without editors and directors and press agents and commercials and all of those things that stand between me and my audience. You know, it's as close to a one-man show. And by the way, I don't rule that out. But until I do do that, this is as close as it's going to get. And it's a continuing conversation with people who have been with me and supporting me for decades in this business. I have a relationship with my audience. We've been going through life together for a long time, and it's important to me to find a new way to connect. And I've discovered that these books have been really satisfying, not just for me, but for people who I meet on the street and talk to me about you know, what they've gotten out of it. So it's another way for me to continue this relationship that I'm really, really fortunate to continue to have with so many amazing people, who many of whom I'll never meet. Thank you.